going on guys? Victor here. Check it out. I got my little mini me, my little brother with me today. Mm -hmm. All the way from where, Sam? California, Redding. So my mom and Sam drove over here. Six days. Six days in the car they came here and uh, Bricky and I get to take them out on the boat today. We got a gorgeous day. It's a beautiful day. And I have a good feeling Sam's going to catch a big fish today. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Let's get it done. We're hoping for sailfish. Woohoo. King. <laughs> I like it. Woohoo. Let's catch our woohoo today. <laughs> Let's try. Good job. Let's do it. Oh, look. You got a fish. Yep. Oh, my God. Yep. 100% of wahoo. So we've been going over this school of fish on the GPS over and over and over again. Textbook wahoo marks, which they usually school up this time of year. And look at that. That was a big mouth. You guys can see, it looks like he sliced it like this. Big old mouth, and he just missed the treble hook. Dang it. A little bit bigger than the fish in California, huh? Yeah. Okay, look. Hold it. Hold it good, hold it good, hold it good. Don't Move that let it... rod, Vic. Move that rod. Actually, this might be... Don't let the line touch the, the, okay. the boat, though. Jeez. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I am really bad at this. No, you're doing good. You're doing good. You guys, we were... We have been fishing since 7 pick, pick. Okay, you gotta hold it. Okay, look. Hold it one arm here. Just like that. Just like that. Real fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. We've been trying our butts off since 7 a.m. And Sam finally has got the first fish on of the day. We're pretty sure we had one wahoo slash our gog. Woo, baby! Oh my gosh. Won't budge. This thing is pretty stiff. Go, go, go. Real fast. Well, you said you wanted to catch a big juicy sailfish. This might be it. His exact words earlier were, I want to catch a big juicy sailfish. What? <laughs> you said you wanted to take a big juicy sailfish home, didn't you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Fast. You got to go fast. Go, go, go. Okay, so we were slow trolling gogs. We were literally headed back to the inlet. I was about to just nice and easy, Sam, nice and easy. I was about to say, let's go troll for some barracudas in the inner coastal. And we just got a smoke and run on one of the gogs. Don't, don't. Just nice just and real, easy. Just, just real. Yeah. Just real. Okay, it just helps a bit. Sam, it might be easier if you put this, put the butt right here. Look, right here. And hold oh, it yeah. like that. That's what, what do you think? Yeah. Way easier. You're doing good. Oh, it's a lot different than the biggest thing he's caught in California has been rainbow trout, big one. A rainbow trout about this big. So to take him from that to this, that's quite the uh, quite the accomplishment. I don't know if it's a sailfish, but it hasn't jumped once yet. It's not a sailfish. You don't think so? No, it's it could be a wahoo. It's a, it's a kingfish. What do you think of these Florida fish? They're tough. They're tough, aren't they? Here, let me go right, let's go around this real quick, Sam. Okay, come here. This is really, this is gonna be the gonna biggest battle muscles. of your life. And another thing, Sam, make sure the, oh, it's big. Don't let the line, don't let the line ever oh, hit the boat, okay? Oh, it is huge, it's huge. Vic, you be all hands here, on here, deck. Here, 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 let go, let go, let go, let go, Sam, let go. Let me get this. So sweet. Thank you. Want this. me to reverse a little? Um, yeah. Where's your line? Is it? No, it's right there. Oh okay? my god! Are you okay with where the boat yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're that good. is one. Is it an fish. AJ? No, it's a king. It's a king. Oh, it's beautiful. Is it a wahoo? No, it's a king. Right? It's a nice, juicy king. King of the fish. Woo, baby! He did not know he was hooked. Here. Are you turning, Brooke? Watch the line. Make sure it doesn't hit anything, okay? Here, let go. Let go, Sam. Okay, go right here. There you go. It's a, it's a solid king. 
probably a 20 plus pound king. You're doing good. This is a big one. Keep going, keep going. Your back hurts? <laughs> <laughs> For my, my stomach. You're out of breath. Oh, that's beautiful. Wait till you see him in the boat. Oh, it is a king. It's a king. It's a king. I've seen it. I thought it was gonna maybe be a water. It's beautiful. Oh, it's under the boat, I think. Yeah, he's right there. Oh. Here, you want to harpoon it? I'll keep him good. Okay. Oh. Holy shit! Nice. We got giant. it, Sam. Sam? Hold on to the rod, Sam. Still don't want to go. This is gonna be the biggest kingfish. Woo! Yeah, baby. Woo. Good job, brother. Wait, wait, okay, I think we're gonna be... it's beautiful. I say that's a little bit bigger than a rainbow trout. What do you think? Way bigger. <laughs> that hook is barely in there. That little mustache oh treble God. hook, <laughs> barely in there. Stud kingfish. Well, we'll hold them together. How about okay. that? Sure. This is like one of the proudest moments of my life. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. That's a big boy. Yeah. We had a bunch of wire right here on our spinners and we're slow trolling these baits right here called goggle eye. So you have a, a stinger rig. So you have a, a mustad big on hook right here and then you have a treble hook. That kingfish hits it so fast, a lot of times they won't eat it in one bite. They'll just kind of try to slash it. So that's what that treble hook is there for. So when he goes to try to injure this bait, he gets hooked and it was right in the corner of the mouth right there. Look at those teeth, man. Okay, so these chompers will get you. This is what a kingfish is known for. He doesn't have as sharp a teeth as a wahoo, but I'm not gonna test that out. But he's got more brute force, I'd say. Get in here, brother. Go stand behind the fish. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you think about that? It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird? Oh, are these sharp? No, they're not sharp. He's slimy, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, I know you wanted a big juicy sailfish, but will you settle for a big juicy kingfish? Yeah, this is even better. This is going to make a great oh, yeah. smoked fish dip. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's actually been a while since we've got one on this boat. Um, we haven't been on the boat very much, but beautiful fish. And I'm very happy my brother got to experience a little bit of uh, what we get to do all the time. He's always telling me on the phone that he wants to go fishing. He wants to do this. And he's always been catching rainbow trout and largemouth in California. But this is a great first kingfish in Florida. Very proud of you, dude. Thanks. Dude. <laughs> and I was really starting to get worried because every single time my brother and mom come into town from California, it's always rough. And today was going to be the only nice day all week to be able to take him offshore. But we finally got it done. All right, guys, we just got back to the house. We got Sam fishing. He's got a live goggle eye out there. He couldn't get enough. So uh, today's video is actually sponsored by Undoes It. You guys have been seeing me use their products a lot in the past. And we're going to start off with the salt wash. So every time we get back to the dock, we always flush our engines. Go into the intake right here. That water is going to mix with the solution and go in and out of the engine, make sure all that salt gets out of there. So the cool thing about all these products is they're true marine grade, phosphate free, biodegradable, ammonia free, chlorine free. You guys get the gist, it's safe for marine life. One thing I really like from Undoes It is this non-skid deck cleaner right here. For some reason, we always get these like little black spots on the boat. It just comes right off with the non-skid deck cleaner. All the black spots are gone. By the way, this soap, not only does it look good, it smells really good too. I really enjoy a good smelly boat soap. Kingfish slime, be gone. Kingfish are probably the worst, one of the worst fish to put in your boat. Slimy, gets it all in the non-skid, but this stuff gets it right out. So I'll be honest, at first I was like, soap is soap, but this soap is actually really, really good. The fact that that black streak stuff comes off so easily. I used to have to wash the boat, then go get soft scrub and scrub the whole front of the deck that doesn't make it underneath the boat cover every single time we took the boat out. And this stuff, one go as you're washing the boat, no second step, it works really well. Big shout out once again to Undoes It for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in this marine kit, I'm gonna have a link in the description box below. It's gonna be on the screen as well here, but Undoes It got you covered for basically all your boating needs. You got the protectant, non-skid deck cleaner, boat and RV wash, the black streak remover, and the salt wash. I can't think of anything else you'd need. Now let's go fillet up our kingfish. Well, I know one thing. That's a heck of a lot bigger kingfish than I ever caught. <laughs> I'm going to say that's definitely 30 pounds, if not 31. Yeah, like, I think 30. 
I'm going to say that. 31 because that's a big king. What do you think, Mick? Mm, I don't know. Everyone's going up in weight, so I'm going to go 32. <laughs> what? 35. Wow. Brooke? Am I going to be the bad one and say 29? 29? <laughs> yeah. Okay, everyone, remember your numbers. Um, that's a 30. big kingfish, Sam. Oh, he's that's mm -hmm. bigger than the, than the picture looked. Mm -hmm. Holy mackerel. What'd you catch it on, Sam? Uh, we caught it on this. Do you remember what it's called? It's called a goggle eye fish. Yeah, there yep. you go. Oh my gosh, his teeth are breaking. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna do it over the cooler just in case he falls. Oh man. What? Deborah. Deborah. Oh, Deborah. Uh, 35? Right? Wow. Right 32. Or, it's, it's 34. 34 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Good pounds. job, Mom. Nice, nice job. fish. Good job, Sam. 34 pounds. See, aren't you glad you weighed it? Mm hmm. You telling people you caught a 30, 30 pound okay. fish? Mm hmm. Caught a 34 pound fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said you were just as excited to watch the filleting process as you were the fishing, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Isn't it fun mm -hmm. seeing fish get filleted? Mm -hmm. It is not for me. Let's say kingfish are probably my least favorite fish to fillet, and it's because they're mushy. So your fillet just never comes out that pretty. But we'll see how this one is because this is real fresh just caught so i'll go like this until i get to the backbone come right here around the head Ooh. oh there's the yeah, blood, the blood came. <laughs> we were talking on the boat how there was no blood on the boat today until now i probably did hit his heart now we go from this side staying on that spine this is a very hit or miss fish for a lot of people some people yep, love it did hit the heart yeah, we did. He he became a bloody miss. Some people love it. Some people hate it because it's it's very gamey. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's oily. A fish this big. If you are going to eat it, like grilled or or blackened or fried, whatever you do, same day, next day, no later. This is definitely preferred to be smoked, which it excels at much better than almost any other fish. Oh my gosh! Because it has so much oil. I think that's where poop comes out. Or something. <laughs> I think Something that's where there. his poop is made. This is where the poop comes out, Sam. That's his butt right there. Yeah, and this is... Oh my gosh, it's gross. Whoa. You see, <laughs> kingfish is just... I took my time with this fly and it just never it just never looks that good. That's why it's such a good fish for smokes. It just rips and tears easily. These fish are just very soft fish, but they make excellent fish dip. So since this fish is going to be smoked, I'm not going to be too worried about getting it all super cleaned up and fancy. You can actually leave the bone and everything in there. I just removed the guts and any of the like inner stomach lining because when you smoke it, it's super easy to get the meat not only off of the skin, but the bone and the bloodline as well. So this is basically ready to go. Now you just got to portion into the size pieces that you want to smoke. So I'm going to go about this big. Whenever I smoke fish, I brine it first. So I do uh, your basic brine solution, just salt, brown sugar. I don't do any of the aromatics like cinnamon or bay leaf or anything, just because you can add all that stuff into your dip later. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a low smoke on the Camp Chef. I'm not gonna do a high smoke, so I'm gonna have it at a temperature of about 160 degrees, because the longer you subject your fish to smoke, the smokier it's gonna get. And something like a pellet grill doesn't produce the amount of smoke that a, a traditional smoker will. We want our fish to be around a temperature of 160 internal when it's done. Good to go. What do you think? It's beautiful. Yeah, what why does this look so different than these pieces? Oh, because I already took the skin off of these. Okay, oh. here, you, t you take a little bite. You're the fish lover. Let's see what you think. It's going to be smoky. Mmm. Pretty good. This is the best part about smoked fish is getting this little bit right here. It tastes smoky. I think I'll have some more. Me too. It's really tender and soft. Mm. Good? I mean, it's good. Practically all fish are tender. Yeah, but this is a special fish. This is a big juicy kingfish caught by you. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't made smoked fish in a really long time and it's something that you can't really have too much of or else i feel like you get tired of it but this is like a real treat since we haven't done this in a long time it's so beautiful 
Look at that it color. It has that like pinkish brownish Ooh. color. And this puppy's been on the smoker for, let's say... Three to four hours? No, it's probably been on for six hours. Look at that. It's oh. still pretty pliable. It's got plenty of juice and you got that beautiful brown crust on there. And you guys can see that this fish definitely absorbs some smoke. And I think it's better to, um, you know, go low and slow so it absorbs as much smoke as possible rather than kind of high. And look at this. This is why I say leave the skin on because it peels off so easily, yeah. just like that. But look, it's still super juicy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. When you, um... It's so tender, you can easily just rip it, off, rip it off. When you brine it, you don't want to add a lot of salt to your actual dip because there's salt all in and out of this fish. That's what that brine does. So I'm going to take it off the grill, get all the skin off, get any kind of bloodline out or anything really dark, and then I'll catch you guys inside. One thing, it's, it's like already marinated because it's in the ocean. It's salted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, hit it. All right, we got Sam, my little brother, filming, and I want to show you guys something. I've made a lot of fish dip in my life, but this is going to be the best one, and that's because this fish I just put through the food processor, and it is the most tender. Normally, when you put the fish through the food processor, it's still kind of grainy and dry. This already has the consistency of dip. It's definitely the most moist, which means we're not going to have to use as much sour cream and mayo and stuff. Look at this. I let the fish sit in the fridge overnight and it is just tender as can be. That brine really makes a difference, low and slow, and you get that super smoky flavor. So I'm gonna let Sam do the honors, and he's gonna pulverize, as he would say, the last batch. Okay, so put the lid on. Okay, twist, perfect. Okay, now put on, press on. Nice. Look at that. Now, it, it looks like ground beef or like ground sausage, yeah. but that's what you yeah. end up with. So here is the completed dip. The, what I did is I took the fish and I put in the food processor first, put it aside, and then I did all my veggies. So we got red, yellow, orange bell pepper, jalapeno, onion, and roasted garlic. And you want to do it separately so that way you don't over blend anything. And I like to just keep it separate and then you know exactly how much you have for each batch. Then you combine it with some sour cream, mayo, cream cheese, and look at this. This is this is the true test of a fish dip. If it breaks with a Ritz cracker, because you guys know how soft these are. So let's see. If you can get a big scoop like that without the Ritz cracker breaking, you did it good. First of all, it looks really beautiful. Like Victor said, Ritz cracker is like the best cracker to eat fish dip with. It's just so, so good. And really soft. It's really, really good. Victor made about how many of these? 10. <laughs> 10 of these? Yeah. So I know you already gave my parents some. I'm sure we're gonna share it. We're not gonna be able to eat 10 of these, but that's a lot of stuff. If you're really looking for a way to like make a fish go a long way, you can make a ton of dip with that 30 pound fish went a long, long way, but this stuff is absolutely delicious. It's a real treat, we don't get to have it often, so I'm really happy. All right guys, as you can see, we got a mountain of fish dip. Sam's gonna make a little pyramid or something out of it, but pretty cool to see. 35 pounds of kingfish, you yield a lot of dip. I highly recommend not over smoking the fish, because I can tell you, I only used half a jar of mayonnaise, half a stick of cream cheese, and about half a container of sour cream for all of these containers to make enough dip. And if you get a really juicy kingfish, like Samuel caught, <laughs> oh you caught a good one. He loves that word for some reason. What's up with you and juicy, man? What? Juicy sailfish, juicy kingfish. I want to be slimy. Uh, it was a little slimy, for sure. Its nickname is the slime ball. But did you have fun? Yeah, it was really fun. Good. Yeah, you want to do it again? I would. Today was probably the best day ever. One of the greatest experiences I ever had today. All right, well, I had a ton of fun with my little brother. Hopefully we get to do it again soon. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys are interested in that marine kit, the Undoes It, big thank you to Undoes It for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have them in the description box below. They should get some soap, shouldn't they? For the holidays. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. So they can keep a clean boat for all yeah. those slimy kingfish, right Sam? Yeah. All right, end it Sam. Say peace out. Peace out. See you guys.